Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I am your host, Jonathan Parkinson. In this episode, we're going to be talking about privacy on Clockwork Mod 11 and higher, I'm guessing, because this is definitely a feature they're going to definitely need to make sure they keep in. And Privacy Guard is by far the most important feature, in my opinion, on an Android device as long as you are rooting. Nobody in their right mind doesn't want to make sure they're device is private that's kind of the most or one of the biggest arguments on all devices is making sure that you have privacy and this is definitely the one you want to be looking at so you need to go into your settings uh, go into privacy and you're going to see this privacy guard on the very top now in privacy guards you're going to notice i have a list of applications these are all the apps that are on my device that little shield next to it so i'll go ahead and hit that again that shield is saying that I want, when I open the device, it's going to ask me a list of questions, you know, depending on what that application wants to allow access to. Um, a good example is when I was using Google Hangouts, I had Privacy Guard put on that because I didn't want certain things to happen. I also had Privacy Guard enabled on Facebook. When I was on Google Hangouts and trying to make a, a message, a little pop-up happened and said Facebook would like to read my messages and my contacts which I find kind of highly, highly intrusive, which, you know, why is Facebook even trying to deal with my Hangouts? That has nothing to do with, you know, Facebook and Google are completely two separate entities and they're not fans of each other, as we all know. So right when I did that and I saw that for the first time, I said, hey, you know what, this, this needs to be kind of known. People need to know about this and people need to understand what the benefits of actually having it is. This is another reason why everybody should root their device and it's so easy to do nowadays. It's almost no excuse. And so each one of these is going to have that feature. Now, enable by default is for newly apps. Uh, that's if you want to make sure every time you install an app, Privacy Guard is going to kick up, which I'm going to go ahead and check. Don't forget, that doesn't mean it's going to block everything right away. You're going to get a list of questions at the first, uh, when you first start up that application. And then you'll have a little box underneath each question saying, remember this always, or if you just want to be asked it every single time. So don't think that because I checked that box that it's going to block, let's say I get a download a new text messaging app, that that text messaging app is not going to be allowed to look at my contacts list because you're going to want to look at your contacts list if you're going to want to send a text message, obviously. So it will ask me that question and I can allow that, that certain application to have certain features. But that text application might also then ask me for my location. And I'm not one to kind of share my location that way. If I want to share my location, I'll just do it a different way, maybe through Google Maps, and I'll just share my pinpoint that way. But I don't like everything knowing my location. And, you know, it's not it's not necessarily to do with, you know, the NSA and all that type. It's just I don't know what all these people are doing with my data in the first place, where my data is going to. And so that's going to be the basic understanding to what Privacy Guard is. Um, if you want to do in blacklist for your cards, uh, calls and stuff, this is all going to be under the privacy section. This is just kind of a really uh, neat features that CM11 kind of entails with all Android devices. Uh, a lot of uh, other ROMs on there have kind of implemented this since they do use uh, Clockwork Mod as kind of the foundation of their framework and then they build upon that. Uh, but again, that's the basics of Privacy Guard. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments, there's that section below of how, you know, maybe if you're having a problem or if you want to know more about this before you get into your rooted device or actually root your device, uh, go ahead and leave them there. Uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.